Cameron from Wine Country Pens and today I'm going to make a quick video showing you guys how I made this sound insulating box for my air compressor. If anybody's curious, the air compressor that I have here is the California Air Tools model number 5510SE air compressor. California Air Tools specializes in making air compressors that are very quiet. In this video I'm going to walk you through slowly how I made the box, you know, all the specifics about the box and how you can make it yourself. Also what I'm going to do is use an app on my iPhone to measure the decibels next to the box with the box open and the air compressor slightly out and then I'm also going to make a video, excuse me, I'm going to show you in the video with my decibel meter with the box closed and hopefully you guys can not only hear the difference yourself, you'll have some sort of evidence even though it's just a free app on my smartphone. So it's kind of hard for you guys to see because it's dark in there. I'll get a close-up shot in a bit, but just to kind of explain how I constructed this box, what I did is I took a couple of sheets of three-quarter inch plywood and a couple of sheets of three-quarter inch sound paneling insulation that you can just find at Home Depot or I'm sure any home center. And then I made the box three feet deep by three feet tall and then the sides or I should say the top and the bottom are three feet long by two feet wide, which makes the width of the box two feet wide. So my air compressor has plenty of room, uh, definitely enough room to trap the sound, uh, but make it easy to roll in and out since I have a model that has wheels on it, which makes it nice. So then I needed electricity, obviously, so I drilled a hole on the side of the box and wired an outlet with a switch to um, an outlet that has three uh, places to plug in electricity and then I put in a fan and then obviously my air compressor uh, fits in nicely there. So I will show you guys a close up of the box now. So as you guys can see I just have a simple nine dollar fan from Home Depot over there. It actually comes with a stand but it clips onto the stand so it's perfect for this because I just screwed on a little piece of two by two to my frame and then I also put some uh, hooks up here that I can put the cord up on so it kind of stays out of the way. Here is my power source and then down there is my air compressor and then the power source to the box and what I like about this guy is it has a nice simple on and off switch that lights up when it's on and lights up when it's off and this guy has a dedicated extension cord to it but if you take it off you know you just have some prongs there for electricity and it works great. Alright everyone, so now I'm going to do the decibel meter test for you. Uh, primarily, hopefully you guys can hear the difference yourselves, but um, right now, as I'm talking with the phone in my hand, it's going between 75 to 80 decibels. Uh, before I had any sound going, just in this enclosed garage, it was around 40. And that was with no sound at all, so uh, let's get to it. I'll show you guys the sound difference. <laughs> Alright everyone, hopefully you liked this video and were able to see the sound difference and hopefully you're inspired to make one of these yourselves. I highly recommend it. One thing I still do have to do is create a, uh, a hole in this box for the air supply to go in and out of the box. Um, you know, I do have some holes drilled in it right now for heat and air to be able to flow through it. I still need to test and see if it's going to get too hot or not. You know, the longest I run this air compressor is, you know, an hour hour and a half to two hours at most and that's when it turns on sporadically when I need it. So if you have any further questions feel free to leave a comment down below or you can email me at casey at winecountrypens.com and if you would like this video that would be great and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing more videos regarding wood turning 
woodworking in general, or uh, casting with Illumilite, if anybody's familiar with that. So thanks for watching, and have a good day.